burrow. You can tell it because when you put it up to your ear, it goes ee ah, ee ah, ee ah. <laughs> Now that's where, where a crab or something had a burrow in the in, oh, wow. in ancient times. And here, oh, she's picked it up. Oh, sorry. That's fine. It's fine. But see these? These are burrows too. Oh wow. Uh, we we think they're a worm. Here, feel them. Report her that she's feeling worms. Uh, but these are burrows that were in sand and became cemented. Wow. Lip lifted on the west flank of the Blue Ridge and now is. Okay, how old? I don't know. <laughs> a little over half a billion years. Okay, now you want to see something really old? That's beautiful. That's yeah, beautiful. that is. Can I have it? <laughs> <laughs> so there's things are There! Not here! Anyway, these, if you look at these with a hand lens, have you ever seen a hand lens? Yeah. Okay, if you look at this with a hand lens, you can actually see the layers laid down by these little organisms. Oh, like a loop. Yeah. Ma'am, this is geology. It's called a... Would you get your mind and get her straight down here? A hand lens. So if you hold it like this, and then you bring your eye down, you can actually see the little layers laid down by the algae. Okay? Wow, so there's okay. algae layers. That's yeah, amazing. they're called stromatolites. This is, ready? 2.4, 2.5 billion years old. And this was found near here? Yeah, it's, you know, it's South Africa. Oh, South Africa, okay. Well. <laughs> okay. It's still beautiful. Here, go ahead and look at it. Now, if you don't want to do it that way, just see that, that thumb? Put that right up there, okay. and then bring this up and focus it, see? Okay. You focus this object, and you can see it really clearly. Um, what's that? Okay, what's that? Well, of okay. course, let's do this, ready? Back long ago, there were things called dinosaurs, right? There's, but look how thick the outside of the bone is. Yours is about that thick. Look how thick this is. You think it's a small or big animal? Big. Big animal. Yeah, it's a big herbivore, okay? Now, the, living in the sea at the same time were these critters. They look like the chambered nautilus. Remember the chambered oh, yeah. nautilus? Mm -hmm. I mean, bore you to death. <laughs> I don't want to okay. <laughs> but this is, this, these were living at the same time, on land and in the sea. In Colorado, there was a swamp. And the dinosaurs were living near the swamp. And then there was this big impact, an object about six miles across struck the Yucatan, which is part of what? Mexico, that's right. Yeah, that's the part that sticks up. When you look, go around and look at Mexico, there's a part that kind of sticks up. Well, that's it. Hit there. This is the ash and dust that fell in Colorado from that. Okay? And this is the dead stuff in the swamp that fell afterwards. And the dinosaurs are gone. So this is one of the times on Earth history where 70% of life. Can I have that? It's a meteorite. Is it a meteorite? Jeez, I'm telling you. Can I feel that? Yes, that's what they're for. Any of these you pick up, but you cannot. This one's one I guard because I borrowed it. It's, it's, a, it's an incredible specimen. Wow. Wow. It's wow. a trial bite. Gosh. And the other one the guy had had the eye stalks preserved. That were sticking up like that, and this is a very rare specimen. And there's one underneath it too. Though. Yeah, there's another one here. I thought he was kidding me, because I thought it was just a. Well, I've got a, a trilobite mold, and I thought it was a mold, but this is the actual specimen. And you know that because they didn't clean that out yet. It's still in the rock. Another one. And they were that big. Oh, they were getting up what was? Wait, 30 inches. Where are you? There's a geologist. How many of those guys are going to be a from you? Uh, probably close to $1,500. Yikes. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> uh, a lot of popcorn. <laughs> yeah. Now, you know what that is? Um, a fish. A fish. That's it. A little fossil fish. Okay, pass it around. Let's see now. Hey, well, by the way, what's a fossil? Uh, you thought I was going to let you get away, didn't you? You, uh, you made a mistake. Yes, what's a fossil? And don't call your mom one. An impression. <laughs> yes, ma'am. An impression? And it can be an impression, yeah. A skeleton? I, I don't know what kind of impression I'm making upon you, though. Oh, you're yeah. making a different thing that you find. An old thing that you find. Okay, guys, are you ready? Yeah. Uh, who's that? 
No, 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 no. <laughs> You're cruel. You can use this to measure it. Okay. What, 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 who is this? My mom. Okay, now, who's this? My friend. <laughs> Good. Now, do you know her name? Yes. Okay, first, first thing about a fossil is you can recognize it. Got it? Oil is not a fossil because you can't recognize what it is. I mean, do, does oil look like an algae to you? No. But this is guy's in business. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, so you gotta recognize it. The second thing about it is, it can't could be, oil leave a trail? Well, get your hand out of that for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> for a little bit. Okay, I'll take this. Okay, it could be, ready? Could be bones, right? Could be flesh. In fact, if you'd gone to the World's Fair in at St. Louis, 1904. you could have had mammoth steak. They found the frozen mammoth in, in Siberia, or, you know, cold part of Russia. They brought it over, kept it cool, and they had mammoth steaks. I understand it's a little tough. But anyway, okay. <laughs> it could be hair. We the Smithsonian, and there's a musk ox there. It's got all the hair and skin preserved, all that. Go to Brussels and you can actually see the skin uh, of uh, dinosaurs preserved. It's all uh, in, in a petroleum distillate. Yeah, petroleum. Okay, so you got that, right? Could it be a shell? Yes. Could it be a bone? Yes. Uh, could it be? See, it's, does that look like a tree? It's got rings, but it's ivory. So it is a... No, tusk, tusk, tusk. Come on, get it. What is it? A tusk. A tusk, yeah, it's a mammoth tusk. That's not wood. No, it's not wood. Okay, so it's a recognizable remains of, or it could be... I need that arm back. No, you can pass this back. I, I need the arm. Here's this thing swimming in the sea yeah, five million years ago. Along comes a shark and goes, Two years, Jimmy. takes a big chunk out but leaves its bite marks in your bone, right? Now, along comes this famous paleontologist right there who discovers this bone five million years later, got it? And she says, oh, I got a human bone and I've got teeth marks. The teeth marks are just like a dinosaur footprint. They're a fossil, right? Or they could be something like this. The interior filling of a... Don't clam up on me now. What is it? <laughs> okay. That's yours. Got it? Okay. Now, so it's the recognizable remains of or traces of a prehistoric organism. It's got to be more than five or 6,000 years old, right? BP's got What's some really it? nice advertising. Yeah, right. That's what they do. It's just yeah. advertising. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, the, the, the point I'm trying to make is Listen, see, what is it? It's the recognizable remains of or traces of a prehistoric organism. You got that? Yeah. Okay, so you think this, with its tree rings, is, is a fossil? Yeah. yeah, good. Okay. Is this a fossil? Yes. No. <laughs> Dude, it's really dry. <laughs> Anyways, okay. You think this is a fossil? No. No. Oh, oh wait. Do you recognize it? A tree. Sing the song. I think that I shall never see a poem lovely as a good. Okay. So now here we go. This is a piece of wood. Now where did it come from? That's important because how many have been to Bush Garden? Okay, you ever taken the Rhine River ride? Got a little boat you yeah. around? There's a lake there. Well it wasn't a lake there originally. It was just a swamp in the area. And when you walk out there you're down in it. I can prove it to you. Now, the thing is that they had to dig all this crap out to build a good, strong dam. When they went down 42 feet, at the base of that was this wood. Sent it, chopped it off, sent it up to the radiocarbon lab in uh, D.C. They came back with an age of 10,400 years, plus or minus 80. Got it? Well, prehistory begins about five, 6,000 years ago, so is this a fossil? Yeah, it's a fossil. Now, what you gotta remember is books on fossils don't have to be changed. For example, what's this? Shell. Oh, just think. This is fossil the, shell. This is a beautiful fossil shell. It's called the Jefferson Scholar. Some idiot with a beard who taught at William and Mary took his students to the state legislature and they made it the state fossil. Got it? Okay? So this is the state fossil of Virginia. But it's the same stuff. Same stuff it used to be. It's the same shell it was when it died. 
It's not changed. Now it's been cemented together a little bit, but it's the same thing. Got it? Mm -hmm. Okay. This bone in there is still that bone. See it there? 